Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we are again doing more map hunting for my Halloween and Christmas island. I finally got myself a new icon. We got Ione. Finally, my little galaxy squirrel. I love her. She's not my birthday twin, but I don't care. I love her anyway. If you weren't here last time, um, happy Wednesday, by the way, when you watch this. It's actually Tuesday when I'm filming this, though. I have to close at work tomorrow, so I'm going to have this ready to go tomorrow morning, afternoon, before I leave. We'll get it all put live and everything then. But how's everybody doing? How's everybody's week going so far? Uh... My Tuesday started out a little crappy, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, time of the month started yesterday. Wasn't ready for it. Sorry to any gentlemen watching. Overslept, got to work late, our truck was late. It was, it was just a day. So I spent the rest of the day reading, finished a book I started this morning, found a map for my other island. Good morning, Timmy. Good morning, Tommy. I decided the other island, I'm going to stick to mostly pictures on Instagram, although I might do speed builds and stuff. I haven't decided yet. I'm still getting used to this whole YouTube thing. So I might stick to one switch and just use the other one for funsies. We'll see. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the check-in counter again. 40-ish minutes yesterday. As I said, yesterday because it's Tuesday when I'm filming this, but on Monday... And no luck. So all we are hoping for is a green airport. Um, I originally thought I would like resident services more farther away, but now I'm kind of thinking I want it closer. So that way I don't have a ton of random space in between it. Um, and then I can just split it off into the two holidays. But I'm still troubleshooting that idea. So I guess we will see what we can find if it goes well, which I hope it does. I never noticed that you can hear Emily's in the background like they're talking over the intercom. I never noticed that before. Of course, this I'm also, you know, I usually don't play wearing headphones. I just have it on my TV. So you learn something new every day. Uh, I suppose I'll let you guys take a picture of me. Why not? Why not? Ooh, I like the outfit. I actually, this is one of my favorite starter outfits. I love the shirt. Love the pants. Well, I'm not too keen on the pants. I prefer the ripped looking ones. Uh, not totally sold on the shoes. I do like them being green, but I think black would be better. But let's see what we can find. Add that to my records, please. Thank you, sirs. Start talking about our new home. Oh, boy. Is this going to be tedious again, or are we going to get lucky? Would anybody like to flip a coin? North America, please and thank you. I've thought about setting one in the Southern Hemisphere before, but I don't know if I want to try and do Christmas without snow. I'm not entirely sure how that would work. I mean, where I live, we don't always have snow on Christmas. But we get snow before or after. Sometimes we end up buried in it. I just don't know how I would do winter not during Christmas. I just, I guess maybe I'm being picky. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. That one's actually not awful. Um, I kind of wish the airport was in line with resident services. This one's not too bad either. I think, and I don't mind the two south-facing rivers, um, I'm gonna do something different with the rivers anyway, so the river mouths don't bother me too much. Peninsula is in a good spot. I wish it was a little bit longer, but I don't think they get any longer. I think they're just skinnier or bigger or whatever. So, let's see what this one gets us. We are hoping for a green airport. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your legs. <laughs> Don't cross, well, you can cross your eyes if you want, just probably don't keep them crossed for too long. That'll give you a headache. 
one thing. As I said last time, food, always food. I am forever hungry. I had popcorn after the last video, like I said it would, and it tasted so good. I have some edible cookie dough from Walmart waiting for me for after this one. I'm only gonna eat a couple of spoonfuls, but a little sugar, you know? A little sugar never hurt anybody. So, here we go again. I will just skip this since we did this last time. If anybody wants to watch the intro, it's in my last video. And let's see what we got. And boop, boop. I'm getting quicker at that. We only got one, <laughs> one note of the intro trumpet. <laughs> Oh boy, I do still really wish we could just keep the white plane. I think it would be really cool. White plane, you know, airport parlor just for the airport. But I do that in my, on my Final Fantasy character too. Ooh, cherries again. I will match all colors with my hair and my highlights and all that. I don't know why, I just do. You can't see the airport, so we're gonna have to wait until we land. Are we green? Yay! We did it! First try! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, I apologize if anybody just heard that banging. I was fixing my headset and hit my Joy-Cons against it. Alright, well, um, that took a whole heck of a lot less time than I was expecting, so I guess we will play through up to where I can save. And... Maybe I'll bring you guys along with me while we start collecting some miles. What do you guys say? We'll see how many we can get in the next, uh, we'll say about 15, 20 ish minutes. Maybe we'll take the video to a half hour and then we'll call it done there. I'll try and keep an eye on the time. Hopefully my Elgato continues to work for me, but let's go check out our plaza. We have Agnes, who is our sisterly. I've had her on one other island before, and then Sly is my jock. He was on Acorn Falls, and I ended up keeping him. Oh, I do really like this. Oh, this pathway is going to be awesome. Okay, actually, I will have something off to the side here. That's going to be so very cool. Um, I want to go check out the flowers, if I can see any, before we get going. Roses! Okay, I can live with that. I can live with roses. I'm thinking I'm going to use mums on the Christmas side. I have some green mums ready to go. And then I'm thinking either roses or tulips on the Halloween side. So, that's kind of up in the air. But I was hoping for apples or pears really for the fruit, but cherries can work. I have apples and pears saved up on my other island ready to go, but... Tom Nook, sir, take it away. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Agnes here? Yes, she is. Cute little piggy. How about Sly? Yep, Sly's here too. And then, of course, there's me. We're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. So, so. So, so, what's the word I'm looking for? Formal. <laughs> so formal. On the tip of my tongue. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. I am so excited for this one. I went ahead and restarted Zodiac, which I've tried before on my other Switch. I'm going to give it another shot. So I am very, very excited for this. My name is Tom Nook. wonder if his full name is like, can you imagine Thomas Nookington the <laughs> third? I don't know why that just popped into my head and it sounds so funny. Founder and president of Nook Inc. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations. And this is a package deal. As such, Nook Inc. staff, Timmy and Tommy, will be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. 
First things first, it, like each of you to choose a spot of your own. First step to putting down some roots. So are we plants now? Trees? Weeds? Flowers? Like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate. And okay, sir, you're daydreaming. Can you, uh, Tom? Tom, can can you come back to reality? Ah, there he is. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. This is one gripe I have. Our tent is always yellow. I really wish we would get a different color. But let's go over and talk to Timmy. Here you go, your very own tent. Why, thank you, my dear. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory and select your tent to place it. I love how they're talking to you and talking about the buttons on the Joy-Cons like they actually know they're in a video game. I think it's so funny. You'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. You want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Beach. Always the beach. Should probably set you up with a map too. Yes, please. That would be that would be wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Okay. Let's see. I think. Sorry, I'm looking at the map because I don't have my next phone yet. Obviously. I think doo -doo 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 -doo, we're gonna go to the right and put. Sly and Agnes over on the left. Oh, there's Agnes right there. Isn't she cute? She's a cute little piggy. I'll be right here next to the river mouth. Yeah, crap. Oh, better one. That'll work. I don't need to imagine it. This be the spot. And like I said, it's yellow. Uh all right, Agnes, come on. You're... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me you're Chris. Sure am, you little cutie. I, I'm not keeping her, but she is so adorable. I love her dress. I, I'm Agnes. Gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing snuffle. Oh, I never realized that was her catchphrase. I already found a good spot. Trying to just feel for the best spots, having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. Couldn't sit here thinking over it forever, so grab a stick through it, and here's where it landed. So, this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I can throw the stick. Uh, I'll find you a spot. Yes, I'm gonna pick out the perfect spot for you. Come on, come on. Hand her over, please, and thank you. Did her ears just flop? <laughs> that was really cute. Okay, uh, Sly Guy, Sly, S Sly, hello? Where are you, my little crocagator? Where, oh. Yo, I'm Sly, nice to meet you, hoorah. I remembered his catchphrase. He's actually kind of cute, I do like him. I'm no, I'm also not keeping him, though. I haven't built up a list of what I want for villagers yet, other than Kiki. I know she'll be traveling over from storage to be on this island, and then <laughs> once this island's done, she'll be traveling back. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think? Hand her over. What? You'll help me find a sweet spot to put this tent? Seriously? Yep, right on the beach. Right on the beach. <laughs> Come on, give her up, thank you. My tent is in your hands. Yep, yep, I got this. I got this. Literally straight down from where he was. So we'll put Agnes uh, over one. I like putting them back up against, like, like right here. Just, I feel like it's more room. It's really not. I just... <laughs> I feel like they're a little bit more out of the walkway, I guess? Alright, there's Agnes. 
And we'll go down over here, give Sly some breathing room. I'll oh, put him right next to the other, 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 other river mouth. Uh, I need to start talking slower. Um, hello? Hello? There we got it. Yep, this is the spot. Perfect. Da -da 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 -da. Sly's got his tent, or, yeah, got his tent for his place now? Sly's got a place for his tent now. Let's head back to the plaza. Party time! After some hard work that I have to do. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? You really get a feel for how it suits you. I live vicariously through my character at this stage because I love camping and I just have not gone camping in years. Alas, the joys of and sadness of unfortunately having to grow up. <laughs> and with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. I don't know if that's serious, but it'll be fun. We'll just need a few supplies to get started since we'll all be living here together. This will be a good test for our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Agnes, Tommy, and Sly can set up things here on the plaza. Meanwhile, Chris and I will gather on working, work on gathering. I apologize. Firewood and perhaps a little stack. Chris and I? Hmm. Methinks he's just going to stay standing in the plaza while I go do the running around. What do you think? All right, everyone, let's get to it. Chris, would you come see me for a moment? I can see you, sir. Did you want to talk to me? It's my one and only dad joke for the day. Please don't block me. Ah, uh, Chris, just wanted to go over what we need for the campfire. Ten tree branches, easy peasy. When you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. It's like they know they're in a video game. Like, hello? Can you see my Joy-Cons? Meanwhile, I'll invest the cherry-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real cherries. Ew. I'm sorry. I hate cherry. I just, I don't like cherry-flavored anything. Uh, you know, I've never talked to these four before I take off. Let's, let's see. Any tree branches you find on the ground or shake out of the trees will work just fine for the campfire. Okay. Gathering can be a tough workout. Just pace yourself and get what you need. You got this. Okay. Encouraging. After you've gathered up ten tree branches, please talk to our boss, Mr. Nook. Sure. We got a big job right out of the gate. Time to knuckle up and get done, Snuffle. Hi, Ridley. Are you going to walk across the desk? Can you stay on my lap, please? Just so that way you don't knock anything over. I appreciate it. I have an open can of Coke Zero. I really would not want to have that knocked over. He's my little black kitty. He's my little attention-seeking kitty. <laughs> I'm afraid he will want to step on my laptop, which is exactly where he's headed for. Please no. Please no. I need that to keep playing, please. All right. One, two, three... Yes, Ridley, oh my god, please stop rubbing on the Joy-Cons! <laughs> Four, five, they left me alone last night, I don't know what gifts, tonight! Six, six, right, yes. <laughs> stop! <laughs> One, uh, the, just the question mark cracks me up. And we got three of those. Uh, seven tree branches, I lost count. <laughs> I can totally count past six. I, I totally can. <laughs> six cherries. All right, let's see. Um, hello, tree branches. Eight. That would be a nine. Hello, Ridley. Please try not to. Please, please try not to rub on the microphone. If you want to start purring, I'll let them hear you though. If you want to start purring, I'm sure the internet would love to hear a purring kitty. All right, 10 branches, six cherries. Ah, oh, welcome back. I trust you had some success for foraging or tree branches. 
Very well, allow me to lighten your load. Yes, please, take your sticks. That should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. Well, of course I did. Quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. The foreshadowing. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. See you later, Ridley. I apologize if the mic moved. He knocked it with his tail as he was jumping down. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. I am almost positive he did not leave the plaza. And I don't see cherry juice dripping down his face, nor do we have any dead raccoons. So... Yeah, uh, I, I think the taste test is going to be when we eat these later. Look like cherries, smell like cherries, and they even taste like cherries. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine cherries. Will you please collect six of them for me? Yes, here, take them. Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough cherries for everyone, haven't you? Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. Yes, please take these things. I hate cherries. Please, please, thank you. All these cherry trees are going to go. And loading screen. All right. That is everything. Let's get started with the festivities after Tom Nook tries to burn down the entire island. That is totally not the first time I have made that joke. Or totally the first time. Wow, I just completely ruined that. Allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. Yay! He ha I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over here, but this may be the most exciting. Maybe. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch. Truly test his business acumen? Somebody want to check me on that? <laughs> and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, my good sir. You stay in the tent the entire time until it becomes a building, and then you do not leave the AC. I don't know what sense you think you have as an outdoorsman or skill, but it's, uh, I'm gonna the policy. You, you've got none. Anyway, may not have the kind of number, kind of numbers that I originally envisioned. That just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. No doubt, with hard work and perseverance, me. Oh, me. We'll shape this deserted island into... No, we cannot call this a deserted island anymore. What should we call it, I wonder? Oh, looks like we're gonna pick. Since this is a great opportunity. First residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. Okay, I can do that. Spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Okay. Take a little time to think. When everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. So, I practiced... Whoops. No. Back, back. Practiced how this looked the other day. Hello. Mess. Yeah, I still like it without the dash. So, welcome to Hollow Mess! <laughs> Halloween on one side, Christmas on the other. It sounds better than, uh, Christween. <laughs> Which I was not even going to attempt because that sounded stupid in my head and sounded even dumber coming out of my mouth. Is everyone ready? Say our ideas all at the same time. Let's see what we got. Nooktopia, Nook, It's, Swoleville, and I did not see Agnes. I'm assuming it was Guitar Burrow, and I... Almost wrote, or almost read Nook Its as Nook Tits. As funny as that one would have been, I know. Alright, time for the voting. Since, <laughs> since we only name on one, since I have the enthusiasm and naming sensibilities, apparently. We will start with How to Mess. I, it comes out of my mouth different every single time, and I apologize. Overwhelmingly positive response, and there starts the music again. I love this music so much until we hit three stars because, or, um, I forget exactly when the hourly music starts. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just leaving you guys standing there clapping. All right. From now on, this island will be known as Hollow Mist. 
Since you've proven yourself by naming Holomus, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. I'm shocked. I am so shocked. How could I have not seen this coming? Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Hallowmas. Can I say no? Is that a thing? Can I say no? Anyway, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? No. Uh, let's go with, you can count on me, why not? You get the same reaction every single time, so. Settled on a name for our island, selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. With cherry juice. Ugh, gross. Fresh juice made from cherries. Our, our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Uh, I don't think anybody understands just how much I detest cherries. Without further ado, a toast to Holomus and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Did any- nobody took a drink. Nobody took a drink. Are we sure they're not poisonous? Sitting around a campfire with cups of cherry juice, it almost feels like a family. <laughs> you can call me bro. Okay. A party around a campfire on a deserted island? Wow, now this rocks. I don't know if the Nooklings say anything. Let this campfire burn for the rest of the night. Feel free to rest in your tent if you start to feel tired. Before you do that, though, there is something we need to give you. Please talk to Mr. Nook about it. Okay, well, we're gonna pop around and go talk to Timmy, who is dancing over here. I apologize, the music's gonna be loud for a second. Handled your tasks perfectly. We've got a nice campfire going. Oh, Timmy, you're so sweet! Alright, Tom. Having a good time? Sure. That's a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. Yes, I think we're gonna go lay down so we can get this island moving. Yes, please keep the fire burning and please keep it contained. Alright, there's my cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. A few packages waiting for you. Let me guess. Lantern and a radio. What do you guys think? See what I mean? See what I mean? They literally know we're in the game. And even the Joy-Con sticks. Like, what the heck? Yes, sweet dreams, Tom. Sweet dreams. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go sleep. I had a brief second of thinking I picked all the weeds already because I did that on my other island. Okay, I gotta keep myself, my story straight here, and I'm going the wrong direction. To the right. Here we are. In we go. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Lantern. Gold? Can't quite see. And, oh, white radio. I've never gotten a white one before. That's cool. Let's push it there. I usually leave it turned off. It kind of sounds creepy when you turn it on. It's just like animal leaves and, like, wind. Oh, and a green cot. I like that. All right, rest of my head for a little while. Oh, and the music came on. Okay, never mind. That wasn't too bad. Maybe they were like, and the next song is... Yep, yeah, we're gonna rest. Getting sleepy. Yes, I am actually getting very sleepy. I overslept this morning, like I said. It was not fun, so I jumped out of bed very quickly. And I also just did not sleep very well last night. Looks like we're gonna go a little bit past a half hour just to get to the point where I can save. Hey, KK! Good to see you again, buddy! Oh, I didn't realize he had an echo. Looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. <laughs> That's all the right way, daddy -o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. Yeah, ain't that the truth? World was made for exploring, you know? Yes, I know, and my husband have made the decision. We are going to Japan in a couple of years, and I am so excited. 
living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Well, yes, sir, it is. Take it from a cat. Guys, isn't he a dog? I swear he's a dog. I don't... There's no whiskers or anything. Like, am I wrong? No, I'm pretty sure he's a dog. Anyway, take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind up the soul. You gotta make friends along the way. Yeah, most of my friends have unfortunately moved on from Animal Crossing for the time being. But I'm part of a couple discords, so I still got... Still got a community, which makes it a lot of fun. Friends are where it's at. Yes, sir, it is. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. Why, yes, you are, but that's okay. It's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Please don't make me wake up. I like my sleep too much. Please let me sleep. <laughs> Rap I gave you about friends. It's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. I mean, I share it with me, myself, and I pretty much. My husband doesn't even play Animal Crossing anymore. I've actually got his game card in my other Switch. Island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool, when you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Which means whatever time in June I have the Switch set to. I popped us back so that way we could get Harz Island and get all that stuff going before I... Move us forward to September to play through till the winter. Because I th I do think I'm going to set this island in winter. And the weird talking on the radio? What the heck music is that? Okay. Anyway, Tom is screaming for me. Uh, yes, sir, you have awoken me abruptly, but I suppose I should get up and come outside and talk to you. Let me, uh... Let me... Oh, Mr. KK, that's what it is. Please, let me let me turn that off. Oh, boy. I have to listen through KK's songs, because I really don't know if there are any I really like other than Welcome Horizons. Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Why, yes, sir, I did, until I was so abruptly woken up. More than a nap, it's a brand new day. Wow, I needed that. <laughs> yes, it's quite normal to be worn out on such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these. That would be my nook phone. Thank you, sir. And to my pocket it goes, just to pull it right back out of my pocket and turn it on. All right, here we go. Got the next phone, camera, miles, all that fun stuff. Yep, it's working. Great reception. Of course, there's nothing, you know, to block it other than miles and miles and miles of water. Feel free to put it away now. Sure. Chucks phone into the ocean. Have you ever used a smartphone before? Yes, sir. It's sitting in front of me right now, losing battery as we speak. Find it much more useful than the phone you have? Uh, oh, Island Living 101. Uh, or Island Life, excuse me. Um, I don't technically need it, but I think we'll go ahead and grab it just for funsies. Why not? It's just little messages that pop up on the bottom of your screen throughout the loading screen. Sometimes you got it from Tom, you got it from Isabel. I forget who else you get them from, but sometimes you get them from other people. Alright, got that loaded. Read them as they arrive. Oh yeah, you can also go back and read them just like they're a text message thread. Oh boy, what could this be? Oh yes, our bill. Itemized bill. Includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor. What labor? I did the labor. Am I paying you for my work, sir? Tax and, of course, the next phone. Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. Exactly how much was that smartphone? Or that nook phone? Hmm? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> what are bells? Watch his tail because I'm almost positive it puffs up like a cat. Good one, Chris. Oh, it doesn't really, but I guess it looks like it. I thought I saw that earlier. It is still funny, though, to kind of just see him get shocked. 
Wait, you're being serious. Well, yes, I am being serious. What the heck are bells? Bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services. Well, it's a good thing storage has max bells and extra waiting for me. <laughs> Still the problem that you don't actually have any. I mean, I do. I just gotta fly over and get them. No need to worry. I was... Were you prepared? Because you were pretty shocked that I didn't know what bells were. Getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. Nook mileage program. Well, yeah, I guess it can be pretty helpful. Uh, Nook mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary, I can do say so myself. You can earn miles by simply living your life here on Hollowness, aka pictures. Welcome message on the bulletin board, pull weeds, catch bugs, catch fish, DIYs, you know, the grind. Dare say the more you enjoy your island life, the more nook miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your moving fees. Cool. So, 49,800 bells conveniently shrinks down to 5,000 miles. Only. Anyway, we'll let Mr. Nook here register for us. Oh, that's right, I forget. We get some miles just for doing all that. Oh, excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. May heartedly congratulate you once again on your arrival. I always wonder, is he on the plane with you, or is he already waiting on the island alone? in the cold, waiting for us to arrive and do all the hard work. I don't know. Anyway, so happy to have you as a resident of Halimus and a client of Nook, Inc. And our song again. <laughs> New life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! All right. Island will match the flow of time in the real world. Don't touch the power button. Do all that fun stuff. Yep. All right. We're doing an auto save. We did get some miles already, but I'm not going to check that right now. I am going to go ahead and save us here. Um, Thursday, I will record the next portion of this where we will work on getting our miles. I don't know if we'll get all 5,000 at once, but I will go ahead and record all that to go live on Friday. So I have to figure out I might have to film Monday's video as well because I close. My schedule's a little weird, but I will figure that out. Anyway, yes, we are ready to wrap things up. Save and end. Anyway, guys, it's been fun. This was, I guess, kind of episode two of doing this island. I really don't know what I'm going to call this yet, but we will figure it out. Save complete. See you guys later. Have a good one, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.